All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Baltimore Colt break and welcome to the first Baltimore break for the NHL Baltimore Colt break. Got to get my own name right. Uh, My first hockey break that I've ever done before. Uh, We're going to be doing six boxes of 2013 to 14 Crown Royale. Now we can go ahead and get started with the opening now. Um, Just one thing I should probably say before I officially get started is that uh, you might have to bear with me for a bit because I'm not overly familiar with the NHL. So if there are, you know, if there are pronunciations that I get wrong, um, I'm sure it'll happen once or twice or 15 times. I don't know. But in that case, uh, just bear with me. course, living in the D.C. area, I'm definitely trying to become a much bigger hockey fan this year. Caps are giving people a good reason to get into them, so. Anyway, we'll open all four packs and then go through what's inside of them. All right, we got a redemption there. Super thick card right here as well. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Box number one. Uh, actually, hold on real quick. Let me clear a little bit of this out of the way. Because I usually put the cards over here. All right, here we go. So let's see what hits we have here. Hey, we got something pretty nice to start off here. We have a two-color patch, numbered 7 out of 25, for Patrick Waugh of the Montreal Canadiens. All right, that is a solid hit to start out with. So a two-color patch, our first hit, Patrick Waugh for Montreal. All right, continuing on. Next up, we have a Rookie Royalty Autograph Red, numbered 74 out of 99, for Patrick Bordelot of the Colorado Avalanche. Again, if I get any pronunciations wrong, uh, just bear with me through that, and, you know, just let me know what the correct one is, too, I guess. So it was a little hard to see the name, too. But the Colorado Avalanche have an autograph, a rookie auto. All right, and we have a redemption here. We have a rookie silhouette of card number 151, Ty McGinn. So I do have to double check and, I mean, I hope he's not a really big name. That would be embarrassing, but I do have to look up what team Ty McGinn is on, number 151. So let me do that real quick. That's why I have my phone here with me. Uh, Sorry, it's a little embarrassing, I know, but I'm working on it. All right. Time again. Uh, I mean, I'll double check after the break is over and everything. But uh, it looks like during that season he was with... (laughs) I'm so sorry for the delay here. Uh, Looks like he was with the Flyers at the time. So I'll double check that again when the break is over, of course. And if you guys know who he's a part of with this set, who he was with that year, um, that would be great to know, too. 
All right, we have a red Rookie Royalty Parallel, number 19 out of 99, for Steven Pinizotto. Pinizotto? 19 out of 99. All right, and finally, hold on just one second. Got two base cards here, and the final hit is a jersey of Stefan Matu of the New Jersey Devils. All right, and that does not appear to be numbered. All right, so Montreal, Philly, New Jersey getting hit so far. Colorado got one. All right. Oops. Here we go. Second box now. One difference I've already noticed from breaking hockey is that the patch cards are so much bigger than they are in other sports. It's interesting. I mean, seriously, these things are massive. All right, here we go, second box now. First off, we have a Rookie Silhouettes Rookie Patch Auto of Philip Forsberg for the Nashville Predators, and that is numbered 4 out of 99. So we got a nice Rookie Patch Auto there. Forsberg of the Nashville Predators. All right. And as I do at the end of every break, too, uh, I will be doing a separate video about 10 minutes after the break ends, doing a recap of all the autograph, jersey, and numbered hits that are pulled. All right, we have a Sovereign Sigs autograph of Joe Colborn, card number 57. At the end of the break, I'll also uh, confirm what teams these guys are on or were on during the 2013-14 season. Which card, or basically what team they were featured as in the set. All right, and we have a Silhouettes patch of Yarmer Yager for the New Jersey Devils. And that is numbered... Uh... It might not be, actually. All right, but New Jersey gets another hit there. All right, we have a gold rookie, number to 499 for the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, Nicholas Blanchard. And we have a coat of arms jersey card of Carl Hagelin for the New York Rangers. All right, box number three now.
here's what we've got for the third box. First, we have a Social Signatures autograph for the Toronto uh, Maple Leafs, Ben Scrivens, or Scrivens, for Toronto. Social Signatures. At Scribers 30. So there we go. All right, next up. We have a red uh, Jonathan Toes parallel for the Chicago Blackhawks. And we have a rookie jersey of Jacob Truba for the Winnipeg Jets. Jacob Truba. All right, and here we have a nice patch here, numbered 1 out of 25 for the Montreal Canadiens, another Montreal patch, Alex Galchenyuk. I don't think I got that right, but uh, the card speaks for itself. That's a really nice patch there, and it's an eBay 1 of 1, if you believe in that kind of thing. 1 out of 25. So Montreal gets two really nice patches through three boxes. I'll wait on that. All right. Awesome. I said it right. I did not think I did there, but hey, I'll take all the progress I can get at this point. All right. Next up, we have a Rookie Royalty Auto Red, number 99, for Alex Petrovic. Petrovich of the Florida Panthers. All right. So halfway through, Montreal is killing it so far. thing I do know about Crown Royale from breaking other sports is that the packs really like to move around inside of these boxes. And that is very annoying. That one was practically slipping under the whole thing. Box number four, let's do this. Starting off, we have another Montreal Canadiens patch. Brendan Gallagher. Nice looking two color patch there. A few extra breaks too, and that is very low numbered. Six out of ten. So Brendan Gallagher for the Montreal Canadiens. That is the third patch that Montreal has had. The third low numbered multicolor patch that Montreal has had during this break. And it's three different players, too. First was Patrick Waugh, then it was uh, Galchenyuk, and then Brendan Gallagher. All right. Next up, we have uh, a gold autograph, number to 499, a rookie of Patrick Bord... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Patrick Bordelot. It's a little hard to read the name there. 
Uh, I think that's the second autograph we've gotten of him so far, too, for the Colorado Avalanche. Patrick Bordalo. This has been a strong break for Patrick Wad teams so far. All right, and we have a social signatures of Colby Armstrong for the Montreal Canadiens. Once again, four boxes, four hits for Montreal. And we got one more coming up here, too. Maybe they can make it five. Or maybe, maybe they can share. I don't know. Uh, we have a red rookie royalty, number 99, of... Uh, Nicholas Blanchard for the Carolina Hurricanes. And a rookie jersey of Vladimir Tarasenko for the St. Louis Blues. Excuse me. There's that pack just going wherever it wants to. All right. Just be careful here. There we go. All right. Let's try to save the thick packs for last. fifth box. Our first hit is a jersey card of Steve Eiserman, a dual jersey for the Detroit Red Wings. A silver chalice dual jersey card. So Detroit is on the board. All right, that's a Dallas Stars hit right there. Voices of the game, uh, Selena Ray for the Dallas Stars. All right, for the third pack, we have a, oh, this is cool here, a Scratching the Surface uh, rink autograph of Scott Lawton for the Philadelphia Flyers. So that's a nice auto there. And we got another thick card here. We have a uh, jersey for Marion uh, Gaborik, or Gaborik of the Columbus Blue Jackets. So I think, uh, I think they do that in hockey too. I've opened some uh, Crown Royale football in the past, and there, you know, every now and then you get a pack that has two hits. I guess that's the case in hockey as well. All right, next up, we have a two-color patch, number nine out of 50, for the Minnesota Wild of Mikhail. Sorry, it's a little hard to hold. Uh, Mikhail Granlund. Mikhail Granlund. I hope I got that right. That is number nine out of 50 for the Minnesota Wild. All right, final box now. Let's close this out on a high note. All right, that is good to hear. I'm glad I'm off to a good start there. As long as there aren't any names in here that have too many consonants in them, I think I'll be okay. There's been a good vowel to consonant ratio. All 
All right, final box. We have a gold rookie royalty of Carter, uh, Carter, so hard to see it, Carter Banks of the Calgary Flames. All right, and we have a triple jersey card of the Anaheim Ducks. We have Saku Koivu, Corey Perry, and Emerson Edom, or Atem, or Edom, or any one of those. But it is a Anaheim Ducks triple jersey card there. All right, we have a rookie royalty autograph for the Chicago Blackhawks, number to 499. That is Sean Lalonde for Shy 10. All right. Oh, okay. All right, that's a that's a good way to end a break. Uh, hold on a second. First, we have a jersey card of Thomas Hickey for the uh, New York Islanders. Rookie jersey for him. And our last, hold on. These die cuts are so hard to pick up. Uh, our last hit is a Majestic Marks autograph. Check it out. I may not be a huge hockey expert, but I know who that is. That is Mario freaking Lemieux. And we just pulled his autograph. How about that? That, technically not the last pack. So maybe it was the Thomas Hickey jersey card that closed out the break. But hey, you can't beat ending with that. I mean, you probably could if it was like a one-on-one. -on -one, but hey, it is a Mario Lemieux autograph. And that is an awesome way to end this break. All right, so that is going into a magnetic uh, as soon as I end this video. So uh, yeah, the Pittsburgh Penguins weren't doing much to start off, but they close out with a bang. All right, well, hey, that, that, was, a, that was a fun first hockey break for me, certainly. And for whoever had the Penguins, too. That, that was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for putting up with me and my profound ignorance that I'm still trying to work on for the sport of hockey. I'm just messing with you there. But anyway, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, if you want to stay for the recap, um, I'll say around like 110, 115-ish. Um, I want to make sure everything here is put in the sleeves and everything. And um, I'll just make sure I have enough time to be ready for that. So if you want to stay for that, I'll see you guys then. And if not, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It was certainly a fun break. Hope you did well, and I hope to see you again soon. Good night, y'all.